Most human beings are only living at about 40% of their capability. You take that challenge when you answer the call and you see the other side of pain. It's called glory. This is called glory. I have never seen anybody who did extraordinary feats that didn't have extraordinary issues. It is the passion that gives you the power you need, but it is the pain from which you have the conviction about it. If you had not been through some pains, you would not have the burning to do what you do. Everybody can serve. Anyone can be a leader. Listen, our gravestone, our gravestone has a day. A day when you were born and a day when you die. And they got a dash in between. And that dash defines what your legacy is. Work hard, you get what you gotta get. You don't work hard, you get nothing. You get nothing. You gotta work hard. Work hard. You work hard, you get what you gotta get. You don't work hard, you don't get nothing. You don't get nothing. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Keep working. I was not the biggest the strongest or fastest, but my goals were clear. My actions were and still are in service of those goals. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing with that? Dr. Miles Monroe compares leaders to the king of the jungle, he says. He says the lion is not the tallest animal in the jungle. The lion is not the largest animal in the jungle. The lion is not the smartest nor the most intelligent animal in the jungle. And yet when the lion shows up, he is king. <laughs> He is king. You don't need to be intelligent. You don't need to be smart. You don't need to have a certain height. You don't need to have a certain weight. You don't need to have any kind of advantage. And yet, you can be a leader. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. Or you could be like me. Dream of pro football, get hurt, dream over. Find yourself with just seven bucks in your pocket. So how did I get here? By being the hardest worker in the room. Now it's time to see who has a heart. Now is the time to prove to yourselves and prove to everyone out there or somebody were worthy of something. And you're able to do something special that no one else in the world can do. Are you ready to go out there and take what's yours? Yeah! What you worked hard for? Yeah! All of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. We all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island and you're the head of the army and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. Ego is the success inhibitor. You have to do your best not to make decisions based off of ego for sure. Success and failure are generally slow processes. Either slowly building things up 
or gradually tearing them down. And that's why I say you've got to pay attention. You have to watch. You have to watch every single second. Because those seconds, they turn into minutes. And minutes turn into hours, and hours turn into days, and days turn into years. And so, that second, that second that just went by, that counted. And so did that second. And so did that one. And in those precious seconds, you were either building or you were decaying. You were either gaining ground or you were losing ground in that second. Sent home with seven bucks in my pocket. I was like, wait, no, I gotta play in the NFL eventually. Those are my big goals. That's my dream. You realize that that playing in the NFL was the best thing that never happened because it got me here. So my point is, look, you're gonna get your ass kicked. We're gonna get the shit kicked out of us. You gotta get up. You gotta have faith that the one thing you wanted to happen oftentimes is the best thing that never happened. So have faith and just keep that in mind and keep plugging away. When you crawl out from underneath the covers every morning and you sit on the edge of the bed, you have a choice before you. We're wired differently. We have to set a goal that if we hit that goal, we're guaranteed to make sure all that other stuff in the middle is gonna happen. Why three o'clock in the morning? Why don't you sleep? My appetite, my appetite. I say, E.T., I want more, I can do more. If I accomplish this without a father, would I, if I accomplish this with my mom being a teenage mom, if I accomplish this as a high school dropout, If I can accomplish these things from this start, now that I'm at this place, knowing what I know now, what can I count? And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about more than just what you're going to do financially, more than what you're going to do in this industry in the next three years, right? More than that, what's your appetite? What are you, what are you going to do that will in, ensure that when the alarm clock goes off, that you are already up 10, 20 minutes before your alarm clock blows up? Why? Do the work. Do the fucking work. You've heard me say it before, no alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. Listen to me, no alarm clock needed. I can. I will. I must. Sometimes the only way to go about doing the work is get fucking raw and get fucking intense. Get angry and aggressive and make it fucking happen for yourself. You start today. I don't care when your life clock started ticking. You can start fucking right now today. If it's 4.15 a.m. in my world, and you're on the East Coast and it's 6.15 a.m. and you're already up and you're already dragging ass, by 6.16, you can change your fucking perspective of the world and of your life. My advice, fucking do it. Do it. Fucking do it. Dig fucking deep and get it done. Do the work of your life. No alarm. I've been using a alarm clock in over 20 years. What is it? Internally air. I want to be successful. I want to execute. I want to make all my dreams become a reality. I want to do everything I said I'm going to do so my appetite increases. It gets stronger every year. I want more every year. I want to do more every year. I want to help more every year. I want to be bolder. I want to be better. I want to be stronger every single year. 
Every single year, your appetite should go up. You should never get settled. You should never get settled. You should never get content. Every single year. When you get content, when you settle, somebody's chasing you, somebody's coming from behind, and somebody's trying to take your spot. And so every single day when you wake up, you gotta set new goals, new benchmarks, you gotta raise it higher and higher and higher so you can make your dreams become a reality. True hunter, watch me, watch me. A true hunter is wired differently. He's wired differently. Doesn't have the same makeup. Listen to me, what makes a gazelle a gazelle is how he's wired. What makes a lion a lion? Okay, let me explain to you. When a lion sees a gazelle and the gazelle sees the lion, both beasts see each other at the exact same time. When the gazelle sees the lion because of how he's wired, he automatically fear takes over. When the lion sees the gazelle, he lights up. It's showtime. The hunt is on. This is what I was made for. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope, and confidence, and stern pertinacity. If neither cold, poverty, famish, or gold, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want. Dogged and grim, you besiege and beset it. With the help of God, you'll get it. But if the why isn't strong, if your goals aren't powerful, if the vision isn't clear, the old prophet said, without a vision we die, without a vision we perish, without a dream we're nothing. And because he spoke, how people live their lives is a result of the story they believe about themselves. He interrupted the story that I believed about myself. Work on your list of why. Make no small plans, for they have no magic to stir men's blood. Make large plans, for they do have magic to stir men's blood. Impossible is not a fact, it's an opinion. It's your opinion, and they'll say, no, science shows. And I say, yeah, and how many times has science shows something's impossible, now science shows it's possible. It, things are impossible until somebody does it. Divorce the story of your limitation and marry the truth of your unlimited capacity, then the whole game changes. Success is born out of luck. It's awareness of mind that takes advantage of that opportunity. You will all be confronted with opportunity. You must take advantage of it. Because if you don't take advantage of your opportunity, you'll never realize your dreams. Whether you want them or not is an irrelevance. You don't know that until you achieve it. But most people have strategies available, or they could get them, or you could create them. But the problem is you got a story. And your story is why it isn't working. And the story is, I've tried everything. If you tried everything, you'd be fit. If you tried everything, you'd be profitable. If you tried everything, you'd be there. But people say it. To the king of the jungle, he says, he says the lion is not the tallest animal in the jungle. The lion is not the largest animal in the jungle. The lion is not the smartest, nor the most intelligent animal in the jungle. And yet, when the lion shows up, he is king. <laughs> he is king. You don't need to be intelligent. You don't need to be smart. You don't need to have a certain height. You don't need to have a certain weight. You don't need to have any kind of advantage. And yet, you can be a leader.
Well, this is the end of this saga. Master Builder Class 005, Master Builder Class 006. Four pill Toshiba with sideband and real sideband delay and sideband bias. And a 24 pill Toshiba built with the best of the best of the best parts. I'm going to ask nine for this, you guys. 9,000. And the first one to the door gets it. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I really do. And I thank you, everybody, for your patience and your support always.